Nowadays, it's customary to have a headstone when someone's buried. But over a century ago, some didn't have the luxury of having their graves marked. That's why one organization is working to make sure everyone's final resting place is remembered. Kelly Lansner Ortiz takes us now to Mount Pleasant Cemetery for this report. Take a walk around Mount Pleasant Cemetery and you'll see rows of graves. But Carol Wolksher with the Independent Order of Odd Fellows says there are many older graves that remain unmarked. At Mount Pleasant Cemetery, which is the oldest cemetery in Sioux Falls, there are right now about 700 graves that lack a permanent marker. So we are starting to mark those graves with the placement of 20 permanent markers. Twice a year, the organization raises thousands of dollars to purchase markers made by family memorials by Gibson. It's a calling and giving back to our community is very important. We just feel like maybe everybody deserves to have their name, no matter who they were. They were important. They're important to somebody. The Odd Fellows collaborate with local high school students to place these markers. We're placing down headstones on unmarked graves as a way to remember those that may not have been able to either like afford a headstone or just weren't fortunate enough to uh, receive one when they were um, buried. Cameron Whiting is a senior at Jefferson High School. This is her second year as a member of the Odd Fellows. It's a really important project to me that I really enjoy doing just because I think it's important that everyone's remembered no matter what. Whether the marker is for a baby or an elder, the group plans to continue their work until all unmarked graves have a marker of their own. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. Walter says the Odd Fellows are working to include veteran markers for unmarked graves. You can find a link to volunteer and donate in the story online from Renee.